star protection and uh, coordination okay for this star protection and uh, delay coordination uh, I have drawn uh, one single line diagram uh, because it will take some time uh, to this uh, video is going to be uh, large so I will split into uh, two parts so in the first part we will show how how I have selected uh, the, the components of the electrical network uh, over here that means uh, electrical equipments along with the uh, current transformer and the release and their settings so first of all uh, this is the grid grid over here so yep let's go to the edit mode okay so this uh, grid grid rating uh, this uh, 110 KB grid this short circuit rating is 10,000 MBA okay so after this uh, after that 110 KB bus and there is another uh, 110 KB bus and in between there is a transmission line if you see the transmission line parameters so I have selected here the AC shared conductor you can you can select from here also from conductor library so different types of conductors are mentioned here uh, this conductor type is ACHR it turns frequency ACHR conductor and aluminium you can choose copper also based on the project requirement and uh, now go to the configuration configuration setting here uh, so whether this is horizontal or vertical configuration or parallel vertical so a lot of options are available here and generally, generally it is horizontal configuration so I have put horizontal configuration then you have to put this value this uh, height this uh, height of the transmission line over here so you can choose 30 meter or 20 meter what may be suppose 25 meter height and you have to put uh, the spacing also this spacing between conductors a b a to b b to c c to a so you can see a to b is 4 meter b to c 4 meter so automatically it will come uh, the value of c a this spacing is 8 meter okay okay next next there is a transformer 12.5 MBA transformer and if you see the dating uh, here 110 KB to 11 KB step down transformer and 12.5 MBA transformer dating impedance impedance as per the project requirement if it's not there then typical typical value we can use from ETAP library okay now this is 11 kb bus and from 11 kb bus to 11 kb bus here uh, i have inserted cable the cable connection if you see uh, this cable data uh, you have to put number of conductors per phase also the cable length whether it is suppose this is 50 meter or you can take it from library you can choose from library here uh, based on the requirement whether single phase or three core uh, single core or three core cable whether it is xlp or pvc insulated cable frequency based on frequency and and voltage level voltage level also this 11 kb or you can use uh, points uh, 1 kb so a lot of uh, options are available here so from this database you can choose 
and also here the size different sizes are available in square mm okay these are the uh, typical uh, cable parameters it will draw from the library now after that you have to uh, uh, you have to put the circuit breakers because these are the isolating devices you have to use uh, in case of uh, coordination protection and coordination study that means you are going to protect any electrical equipment upstream equipment that means downstream circuit breakers must be must be switched off and also the corresponding upstream so you have to put the current transformer over here current this city if you see the rating i have selected 50 by 1 ampere secondary ampere you can change you can change here and the burden also you can change and designation different types of cities are here so this is typical uh, this is applicable for all the all the cities here I have select uh, I have chosen here total four numbers of cities and most importantly along with the cities it is connected with the relay this relay is uh, you can get it from from here you can see this is over current relay so this is the work current relay double click here and here you can see this is connected with ct50 this is this is ct15 uh, and this primary and secondary ampere this uh, ct rating is also showing here, uh, here and go to the output also so it is taking input from this ct and now what will be the relay output relay output relay element output so our intention is to trip the upstream breaker this cb1 circuit breaker one so which elements we have phase ground negative sequence so all are uh, all options so we can uh, choose here any and here interlock and you can see device type it is it is interconnected with uh, hb circuit breaker and here device id cb1 you can see this is which circuit breaker you have to specify so in case if in case of any fault in the downstream network uh, we are going to trip this upstream circuit breaker that is cv1 that's why it is cv1 and what action we have to take we have to open this cv1 circuit breaker so now it is open you can add here if you add here it will show another options suppose you want to you can choose other series also so in case if any fault over here uh, downstream so you can you can uh, trip other breakers also but it is not required now go to the OCR over current relay setting over here so you can choose it from library also and here you can see for phase ground so separately it is showing so i have chosen in case of fault this overcurrent i want to i want to check the overcurrent element over here and for the uh, and instantaneous also you can select so that it will show in the plot that overcurrent and instantaneous uh, tcc time current characteristic curve it will show but for the time being i am uh, switching off this instantaneous uh, only over current element I will consider and for phase only so here you can select from the drop down list the whether NC or IC so here I am uh, choosing NC suppose normal inverse and here the pickup range you can select pickup range and uh, here pickup you can change the setting over here and time dial time dial also you can change based on the coordination so we will see later uh, what time dial is coming uh, based on the tcc curve okay 
nothing else go to ok and similarly all over current release uh, have to be configured in this way so now now uh, you can insert fault at any any of the buses over here okay for the uh, the most important thing for the uh, listing and protection coordination you have keep in mind that the coordination should start from downstream towards upstream that means in case if in, in case of any fault in the downstream level suppose at 11 kb bus 4 in case of any fault over here so the first circuit breaker you have to trip that should be cb4 and then cb3 then cb2 and finally cb1 suppose in case of any fault in bus 3 at 11 kb bus 3 over here so you have to open this circuit breaker first cb3 then cb2 and finally cb1 similarly if you have any fault over here bus 2 the first circuit breaker will be opened this cb2 and next cb1 so let's check let's check now how it's working uh, okay now let's go to the start protection coordination tab over here so click here okay now here you can see the fault insertion option so click drag and drop so now it is showing in black also whenever uh, whenever I am whenever I am inserting this fault over here you will see sorry you see this turned into red so drop here you can see this bus is faulted now so this circuit breaker one this cb4 firstly opened next cb3 next cb2 and cb1 in this sequence it is operating that means this release shooting or uh, protection coordination uh, is okay and you can see the fault level over here in this bus 4 it is 8.888 kilo ampere fault level and due to this fault the bus voltages are reduced drastically over here in bus 3 you can see 0.033 kilovolt okay 